Hello and welcome to another Malachi Plays commentary. So today we have another video, and this video is just some NBA 2K13 to kind of explain what my reasoning is behind this video is that the Supersonics coming back to Seattle. And this is one of the biggest things that is kind of going on in Seattle right now, besides, you know, this championship offseason with the Seattle Seahawks. The Mariners actually putting and improving um, during the season, but the Seattle Supersonics are a team that used to be in Seattle from, I believe, I can't remember, I think it's 19, it was 41 years, that's what I know, and they left 2007, and they went to Oklahoma City, and so the reason why um, my town and my city, um, the reason why we are so upset with the NBA is because we were there's a few reasons why. One reason is that we were guaranteed a team in five years. It is about the fourth year since they've been gone, and we still have no team. And I really give a lot of credit to Chris Hansen because he is really wanting to bring a team back to Seattle. And it really, he just put up a stake, $75 million. He put up $75 mil, million more dollars, and it's $625 million, one of the top most worth teams, but for some reason it is not going through, and I have a feeling that it might not go through. And you know what? It really does upset me because we deserve a team in Seattle. We deserve to have a team. It is so wrong for us not having a team for all this time, and it's so wrong for any city to lose a team. Like, with the doubts, the reason why that I only am upset if we took Sacramento is because we would take them out of their town, and they deserve a team just as any other state or city. And the thing that pisses me off is that um, mainly everybody becomes an Oklahoma City Thunder fan now because they're winning. And let's be honest, guys, there's a lot of freaking Fairweather fans and that's one of the main reasons why they have so many fans is because of fair weatherism. And yeah, that's fair weatherism. That's different. But I think that if the Seattle Supersonics got a team, all of this would go away. All of this hate of David Stern and everything like that would go away. And it's so disappointing to know that the NBA really hasn't done anything to really bring the team in Seattle. And it's such a big proposition. And everybody, everybody really... To me, to me, to be honest, wants a team back in Seattle because they deserve it. They, they, okay, you know what? During the time when the Supersonics were losing and the year that they left, they went, uh, I think, 20, 20s and 62 or something like that. And since then, pretty much one reason why they left is because of the amount of money that was being made. Well, if you would have told the city that they were going to lose an NBA team, I think a lot of people would have went to more games. And also... The team was losing. Who wants to go and see their team lose their favorite team? It's not fun. Why don't you think there's games not being sold out in, in certain type of places? You know, the Seattle Seahawks, you know, they've always had, you know, sold out crowds. But at the same time, not not when they were losing. It's That's the thing that kind of makes me upset is that um, David Stern pretty much didn't really care when, when everybody... When everybody saw this happening, it seemed like, you know, Clay Bennett said that he was going to keep, or, or not, excuse me, no, I think it was Clay Bennett, but the owner, Howard Schultz, I think his name is, the owner of Starbucks, he he ended up saying that he was going to keep the team in Seattle and buy them, and he never did, he never proposed the trade, and I think he is a part-time owner, but he it is not um, bringing to Seattle, so Clay Bennett, um, Howard Schultz, all these, all these people that, you know, were a part of it, and said that they were going to keep the team in Seattle, they didn't keep the team in Seattle, and it is kind of depressing to see that, you know, that these people would lie over money, and, uh, taking a team to a different city, and what I'm showing here is just Oklahoma City against the old school Seattle Supersonics, you know, I really wish that they could bring a Sonics team in the next NBA 2K game, um, to play as because hopefully we can even play as a team but it's also sad to know that another team would be lost I don't see why they don't have expansion teams there's got to be something that they can do to be able to bring the team back to Seattle and I think it's so wrong because we were robbed of a team and I just don't want to rob another team and that's the thing like with the proposing of Sacramento it's cool and all we would get a team but it's like another city is left without a team and I think that's the reason why I'm so you know uh, I mean I'm I'm for it yes I but then there's that demeanor in you Sacramento would go through the same thing we go through but then at the same time uh California has about eight 
other teams, you know, in there. They have Golden State, Clippers, Lakers, and I think there's one more team if I'm uncertain. I know that the Sacramento, but I just don't see the point why they need so many teams, why Cali has so many. I don't see why they don't bring a team to, like, Arkansas or something or Oregon. You know, the only Oregon team that is out there is the Portland Timbers. That at least is professional. So I think that's kind of messed up, to be honest. That they, that That mainly that another city has to lose their team and that's the main reason why I'm I'm partially against it and partially for it but at the same time a lot of fans are like you know what we went through it so why the hell not put somebody else through it so hopefully the deal can be proposed I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing some supersonic basketball back here and you know if even if the name was changed I think starting off fresh and beginning a new era would be pretty cool and I, I just miss the team. I miss not having an NBA team with Sean Kemp, you know, and Gary Payton, Detlef Shrimp, and all of these players that we know about. It was such a great time for the short amount of time that we did have the Seattle Supersonics in our um, hands. You know, it was awesome, and it was a great ride, and hopefully we can continue that and get back to where we were. So that's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this commentary. Um, let's hit 10 likes for the Sonics, and um, tell me your opinions on this. If you're not even an NBA fan, do you think it's right to take away a team when they've been in the same city forever and ever? And that's that's kind of like what I want to know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did, and a comment. And also, let me know um, if you know anything about this. What 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 do you think? And that's that's kind of like the biggest thing that I want to know. So, uh, go Sonics. Um, I miss you guys, and hopefully we can bring a team back in Seattle because they deserve a team. We deserve it, and um, we're trying so hard to get a team back. And I want to thank Chris Hansen personally. I would wish, I would just love to shake his hand and be like, thank you. You know, you're, you're bringing hope for Seattle, and hopefully that the deal can go through. Thank you guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like down below. And also, check out my other videos, the Dealing with Depression, I worked so hard on that video. That video is probably one of the best videos that I have put out. And uh, so thanks guys, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video, which is probably gonna be a podcast. So hope you enjoyed. And also, also before I go, I wanna ask you guys, would you care during the podcast if I just put like an image? My podcasts are pretty much what I wanna do with them. It's just straight up, have an image, and just make the video. And that's pretty much what I want to do with them. Let me know your opinions on that. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, tell me what I can do with my podcast that would make you like them. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day.